YouTube, what's good with y'all? Coach Rod here. I'm going to talk about how to be delivered from a soul tie. Um, like I said before, I, I, I don't believe that you can break it. Some people teach that you can break the soul tie. You know, I can't really find that in scripture where it can be broken. But I'm going to say you can be delivered from a soul tie to the point where you can, you know, it won't affect you anymore but that you're not being with this person that y'all don't broke up you're able to cut this person off and you're able to move forward live with your life and, and be happy and move on um so i'm gonna give you some steps in doing that first of all before i before i say that i want to say this here um these steps will work but at the end of the day it's about a decision you got to make a decision in your mind you got to choose one thing y'all got to understand, I can say all this stuff I want to say. If you don't make in your mind that you are tired of being sick and tired, what I'm saying, it won't work. So it all starts with you. So what you have to do is, number one, you have to repent. You have to repent. You got to ask God to forgive you. Because the reason why you with this, reason why you got a soul tight with the person because you did sin. You had sex outside of marriage. And like I said, whenever you have sex outside of marriage, that is an ungodly soul tie. It is an ungodly soul tie. So uh, with that being said is, you have to repent. You got to go to God and tell God you're sorry and ask God to forgive you. Then you got to turn from it. You got to turn from it. That's what it means to repent. After you repent, you have to, you, you have to confess that you are delivered from a soul tie. So are you forgive forgive God? Are you ask God to forgive you? Are you turn from it? That means you cut all the sex with that person. You turn from it, then you wanna renounce it off of your life because life and death is in the power of the tongue. The words got your tongue got power, words got power. So you gotta confess. I'm no longer soul tied to so and so. I confess it right now. I put it in the atmosphere. I confess that I'm free from this ungodly soul tie. You know, confess it, put it out there. After you do those things, after you do that, then you want to cut tie with that person. You know, you have to do this. You got to cut tie with that person. If you got to block them on all your social media sites, block them out of your phone. Because you can't keep, you can't get delivered from a soul tie. If you keep on talking to him, keep on letting him call you, and then, oh, he coming back because you keep letting him come back. You got to make up your mind that you are going to just cut everything off with that person. And I know you can do it. You can do whatever you want to do as a human being. We got power to do what we want to do. You can do it. So you got to cut ties. If you got kids with this person... Keep it cordial. Y'all only communicate pertaining to kids. That's it. That's it. He come in your house. He come to kids. You can just tell them, you know, I, I bring the kids. I send the kids out there to you. I bring them out there to you. You give them the kids. How you doing? Be nice to them. God bless you. How you doing? Okay, bye. That's it. If they want to talk to you about how you been and, and what's going on, I'm good. Just keep it short. I'm good. Everything good. But when they want to start talking about getting back together, or I mean, when we used to do this and da 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 mm -mm. keep it, cut it off. Listen, listen, you had me, you had me, you didn't want to do right, now you want to talk about we could have worked and how good it could have been. Because a lot of times your exes, they like to do that, you know, once you cut them off, then now they want to be all, you know, man, we could have made it together, man, I still miss you, just cut it off. Listen, listen. God bless you. God bless you. I don't want to hear it now. You had your chance. I gave you so many chances. I'm done with it. Just walk away. Walk away. Now, if your kids are of, of age, you might want to give your kids a cell phone. You know, my son, he's eight years old. He got a cell phone. And he just uses it just in case emergency, whatever. He's not with us. He can call somebody. But they never operate a phone at eight years old. But it's just my suggestion, my my opinion. It all depends on your thing, with how you raising your kids, though. So if, like I say, if they old enough for a cell phone, you give them a cell phone. Tell them you call the kid. You ain't, you ain't gotta call me. 
You call the kids and they relate the message to me. So you got to cut ties with them. Cut all ties with them. The next thing you got to do, if you're holding any grudge against them, you got to forgive them. You got to forgive them. You can't expect to move forward holding the grudge against somebody. Because when you hold the grudge against somebody, get what? you only hurting yourself. You're only hurting yourself. And you're giving that person power over your life. That person is stopping your blessing because of your unforgiveness. So you got to forgive them. And you got to tell God, God, I forgave this man for, or this woman. Go both ways for cheating on me, from beating me, from talking about me, whatever he did to you or she did to you. I forgive him. No hard feelings. So after you do that, you got to forgive that person. You got to forgive that person. And those are the steps of, of, of being delivered from a soul tie. Those are stuff. First of all, you got to repent. You got to you got to turn away from it. Tell God you're sorry and turn away from it. Then you got to renounce it. You got to tell that soul tie, hey, listen, get out of here. Get out of here. I no longer soul tie to so-and-so. The, 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 the third thing you got to do, you got to cut everything off with them. Block them off your social media sites. Block them off your phone. Cut all tie with them. If you got kids with them, Keep it cordial and only have contact with him pertaining to children. That's it. That's it. And you can do it. It's all up to you. And then once you do that, you got to forgive him. Forgive him. Forgive her or whoever it is. And, and, you know, don't hold it against your heart and tell God, God, I forgive him. I forgive him. I don't wish nothing bad on him. I wish him the best. I wish her the best. I forgive him. I, I will not allow this to keep me in bondage and hold me down. You understand, and, and 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 you know, once you do those those, I'll say what four steps. You can do it. Once you do those four steps, you can do it. And it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. Yeah, it's going to be hard. It's going to be sometimes you want to pick up the phone and call them, but whenever you feel like that, you got to ask yourself, is it worth it? You got to talk to yourself and say, do I deserve that? Cause I'm going to tell y'all something. We think people just going to change because we just let people do what they want to do and we just keep loving them. And no matter how much they do to us, if I keep loving them, they're going to change. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Stop trying to change somebody. Stop trying to change somebody. The only person you can change is yourself. You can't change nobody. The only person you can change is you. Stop trying to change somebody. And y'all be trying to do something that God can't even do. God can't even change nobody unless they yield. Because God gave everybody a free will. And you sitting there praying to God. This man cheating on you. The woman cheating on you. Dogging you out. And you up there praying to God that God would change that person. Guess what? He ain't going to do it until they surrender. Because God gave everybody a free will. So you can do it. Those are the four steps that I, I believe in. You can do to get delivered from a soul tie. Not break it, but you can be delivered from that soul tie. With that person you see, that ungodly soul tie. Because that's what it is. Because a soul tie is pretty much what you have with your spouse. And that's a godly soul tie because it's in marriage. But an ungodly soul tie is with somebody that you're not married to. And you can't leave that person. And you know it's toxic. You know it's wrong. You know he keep cheating or she keep cheating. They keep dogging you out. Keep disrespecting you. Keep beating on you. You know it's wrong, but you can't let go. That is an ungodly soul tie. And you can break that. You can, you can get delivered from that. Excuse me, not break it, but you can't get delivered from that. But it all start with you. Don't sit there and try to change somebody. You're doing something that God can't even do. God gave everybody a free will. Until that person, you're to God. Like Jacob did in the Bible, when Jacob wrestled with the angel, Jacob had to yield to God and confess to God. That's the only way God can change somebody. Stop trying to change people. Remove yourself from the situation. All right, Eddie Coach Rod, God bless you.